Now let's see about hidden files in Linux environment. Hidden files in Linux environment are being denoted in the name with dot. For example, dot test. It is a hidden file. Okay. If you want to create one hidden file, then give command as touch space dot your hidden file name I am giving it as nsic okay so now a hidden file with name dot nsic has been created if you issue ls command hidden files won't be displayed so if you want to display hidden files and file attributes then issue command as ls space minus al here our hidden file dot nsic has been displayed these letters minus rw minus r minus minus r minus minus or file attributes of that particular file test.txt if you want to sort files based on the time of creation then you have to issue command as ls space minus lt we have created this test.txt at first May 18, 13 hours, 4 minutes and test1.txt at 13 hours, 6 minutes. So if you want to sort files based on the most recent files, then you have to issue command as ls space minus lt. When you issue ls space minus al command, or ls space minus lt command files in the corresponding directory will be listed with the file permissions file permissions will be with the letters and characters like minus rwx rw minus r minus minus kind of thing 10 digit file permissions will be there before the name of the file the first letter denotes whether it is regular file or a directory if a file permission starts with hyphen then it indicates regular file if it starts with d then it indicates a directory next three digit indicates the permissions of owner of the file whether the owner can write, read write and execute the file will be mentioned in the second third and fourth digits of file permissions or wx r means read w means write x means execute next three digits that is fifth sixth and seventh digits mentioning about the permissions for members of the group owning the file next three digits eighth ninth and tenth digit of file permission will give permissions for all other users so file permissions will have 10 digits first digit denotes whether it's a regular file or directory and next three digits will give details about the permissions of the owner of that file next three, three digits will give details about the permissions for members of the group owning the file last three digits will give details about the permissions for all other users
so I am going to give a command as l s minus a l it will list the files available in particular directory with the file permissions first 10 digits of the particular line will give the file permissions for example dot nsic file has owner permissions read and write for network users it has permission to read only other users can read the file but they can't write or execute in that file we can modify the file permission using chmod command for example chmod 111 for owner execution permission for network users execution permission and for other users execution permission I want to give so I have chosen 111 then test dot txt that is the file name so I am going to set execution permission for owner execution permission for other users execution permission for network users for test dot txt file I have changed the permissions of test.txt file. Now let's check. So earlier for test.txt file, owners have read and write permissions. Network users had read permission. Other users had read permission. Now, owner has execution permission, network users have execution permission, other users have execution permission. So if you want to give all, every permission, then you have to issue chmod, then 777 test dot txt now we can check so if you give 777 then owners will have read write and execution permission network users will have read write and execution permission and other users will have read write and execution permission if you want to give some users no permission at all, then you can use zero in that particular digit. For example, CH mode 700 will give permissions only for owners. Network users and other users won't have any permissions on test.txt. Let's check. ls space minus al see here owners of test.txt file will have read write and execution permission other users won't have any permission at all on test.txt we have seen about how to create hidden files then ls space minus el ls space minus lt commands we have seen about file permissions of particular file and we have seen about linux command chmod to change the file permissions of particular file in next session we will see about the networking command in raspbian operating system thank you